My name is Jada Bunny. I'm here with Trashy. Let's talk some trash. If you have five minutes to go through your significant other's phone, which app would you check first? Probably Instagram. Because they be using like that little vanish mode. That's probably the first thing I would check is Instagram. If I find something, I will leave them. I'm not like a toxic person. If it annoys me that bad, I will like, you know, I might hurt you. But I feel like it's best to just walk away from things that don't serve you any purpose. How many fights have you been in? I did not start the fights. I, I never started a fight. I don't think I've ever started a fight in my life, unless it was like with siblings or, you know, family members. But I just didn't know how to walk away from fights. But yo, I used to be getting down. I've probably been in like, it is crazy, but I've been in like eight fights, but I, I'm changed, I'm changed. I know how to walk away now. Don't play with it. What's your biggest turn on? My biggest turn on is hygiene. I just love walking past a guy that smells good, but nothing too strong. Like I don't want it to be too strong where it smells like you're spraying over some type of stench, but like just something mellow enough to catch my attention, but for me to also say, okay, his hygiene is good. I think that smell is very important. Hygiene is very important. If you smell good, I'm turned over. What's the weirdest DM you've ever received? It's not a DM, but it was an email. Some dude gonna email me, he had his pina colada out and he was like hey jay uh send your number and he had his like stuff out and i was like there's no way like you just send this like my business email like this is my business email and he sent it and i posted it no no he sent me his peewee i didn't like that too much so i posted it and i was like please guys can we not like send things like this to my dms you know or like my emails you know let's keep things business and he did that and he didn't do it again so how long does it take you to fall in love approximately two weeks two weeks um, if the conversation is good, is the, if the vibes is good, if I'm feeling right, I will fall in love. It's so, it's so weird, it's bad, it's bad. But I'm working on it, you know, I'm working on it. If you smell good, if you're nice, if our vibes align, if you look good, I will fall in love with you. And maybe, a, maybe a day, you know? But that's just me. When was the last time someone ghosted you? <gasps> so this was, I was probably like a sophomore or freshman in high school and it was this dude I really, really liked. I liked him so much, you know what I'm saying? But he was playing with me, like, he was playing with my emotions. He was trying to act like all nonchalant. He thought he was just the coolest motherfucker on the block. But he wasn't, you know? He wasn't. But it's just like, I liked him a lot, whatever, but he was playing with my emotions and it was hard for me to channel my emotions, you know? And because of that, I was, being aggressive at times. I was being nice at times, you know what I'm saying? And then he was just like, fuck you, you gotta go. You know, you're doing too damn much, you don't even know what you feel, you don't know what's going on, like, you gotta go. And he goes to me, but you know, they always come back. I live in Minnesota, okay? So if, if this person knows I'm talking about him, you know what, I actually don't care. I'm talking about you, because you look cracked the fuck out now. But he goes to me, he had me fucked up, just for him to try to spin back and want me again, you know? But you already, you look tired. You, he, look, he looks tired, he looks very tired, so. What's the brokest thing someone has done around you? Eating off the food that I did not want to touch. Like if I'm eating something and it's like two more bites and they're like, hey, can I have that? It's like, bro, like, why do you want that? Like, it's all cold, the, the chicken all lean to the side. Like, why you want it, you know? I just, I just don't think that you should be doing that. You know, like, if you want some food, just buy the whole thing. Like, I just, I don't know. That's not something I can really see myself doing. Does size matter? <gasps> Guys, yes. Sorry, it does. I'm sorry. Praise the Lord to all of you out there with little dingalings. It is okay. You are blessed and you are loved. God loves you, okay? And someone will love you too. Just not me. Have you ever got got a whooped in a fight? So when I was in middle school, right? Okay, she's probably. I, I hope she sees this so she know that you did not win, okay? You didn't win because you won. You won because I let you win. I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> So basically, when I was in, um, what was it, seventh grade, I got into a fight on the last day of school. This girl, I could not stand her. I could not stand her. She's cool now, she's cool now. But I could not stand her. She just talked so much shit. She talked so much shit. So one day, on the last day of school, we were on a hill, and I just started swinging on her. She just, just, uh, she was like an itch I couldn't fucking scratch. So I just started swinging on her. And all, all my friends were like, ooh, Jada, whoa, 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 like, what are you doing? And I was just, you know, boom, boom, boom. And then, she used to say I was bald headed, but I swore up and down I wasn't bald headed, but I was bald headed. I was, I was bald headed. I had two scoops of hair and one little string like this for edges. Y'all, we was fighting whatever. My ponytail came off. I had like a braided ponytail and it flew off. It flung off whatever. And you guys, I, I couldn't go out like that. I didn't want nobody knowing I was bald headed, but they already knew, but I didn't, I didn't know they knew. So 
I was, I just laid, I just nicely laid on the ground and I did what I could. You know, I, 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 did, I did what I could on the ground. I was swinging while she's on me, but I just couldn't, I couldn't let them get me. It was too many cameras around and the ponytail was just a little too small at the time, you know? It, I, it, that was not something I was gonna be able to escape. So I said, you know what? It's either the ass whooping or the itty bitty ponytail. I took the ass whooping, yep. It was just so many cameras out. I just, I wanted to beat the allegations. So I just stayed there and I did what I could. My name is Jada Bunny. If it ain't trash, it is trash.